Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is Orchid Runner, and welcome back to Furious to Fathom. And today we'll be playing through Norwood Hitchhike. This is the latest episode in the Furious to Fathom series, anthology, trilogy, call it what you wish. Either way, we're getting right into it. Uh, just recap these stories, or these, this game, sorry, I should say, this game is based on real stories. Real stories submitted to Furious to stories at gmail.com. Whether these are the stories are real or whether they're just stories of the imagination that were just made up, that's for you to decide. But either way, let's get right into it. Fierce Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. That's all we have. June 16th of what year? Who knows? This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if it's just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I've personally never been to one. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realised the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Jesus, 12 hours?! Do people in America actually drive 12 hours straight? Well, like, I don't imagine that he drives 12 hours straight, but it's hard to imagine driving that length of time getting from A to B. Well, at least from my perspective in uh, good old Ireland here. Because at most, if you want to drive anywhere, let's say if I wanted to go up to Dublin, I think it's about, what, a three hour, three and a half hour drive? There or, or thereabouts, if I wanted to go up to Northern Ireland, it would be about maybe five or six hours, depending on how fast you drive. If you drive like a maniac, you might even have the time. <laughs> Seriously, don't drive like maniacs. I, I haven't done such a thing, you can't prove it. Anyway. What happened to my game? W-A-S-D to drive. Oh, so we're actually driving, are we? Oh, okay. And W is to accelerate. Not accelerating that fast, though. One message, Aiden Williams. Oh, best look at my text. Oh, actually, wait, no, no, don't, 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 don't look at text and drive. Unless you're on a bit of a straight stretch. Wait, we can get out? Nah, who does that? Okay, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, am I still moving? I, I, I don't think I am. No, I, I'm stopped. Okay. Uh, Aiden Williams, Discord, we got ticks. So, I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk, lol. ALR lol. What's ALR when ALR is at home? Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes! Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. Oh, so we're playing as a girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park. Sounds fun. Discord? Where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peach shirt. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Or is that joining? Or joining me? Naruto reference if you get it. Joining. Okay, smiley face again. Are you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your... To your what? Okay, Dad. Not sure... Wait, Dad. Oh... <laughs> Oh, I think he means, or she means that, ironically. Okay, Dad, not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. 
It's not too good here either. I think it's people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. And who is this? The other one. Oh, this is from actual dad. Uh, okay, you know, fuck it. Screw the text. Wait, can I turn after? Oh, we can. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Oh, now we're sucking diesel. Now we're driving fast. Dad, one text message. Dad, I'm driving. I can't freaking text and drive at the same time. It ain't safe. In fact, as you can see from my driving and not driving, that's safe at all. I seem to be going all over the road here. Then again, I am driving with WASAD or WASD. Uh-oh. Oh, I need fuel for my mule, gas for my ass. Whoa, 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 down so close. Okay, so we need to stop at the old gas station. Jesus, well, this lunatic stop texting me. No. No, those texts can be answered at another point in time. Don't text and drive, kids. It is dangerous. I've nearly ran into people doing that. Not me, not me, not me. I haven't texted and drove in my life. I mean, other people texting and driving have almost ran into me. I mean, Jesus. I mean, you'd swear a... You'd swear to... Somebody's life would end if they didn't get that one text sent. Okay, there we go. So park my car here. Wait, do I need to park it a bit closer? Yeah, look at that. Freaking miles away from the pump. Oh, yeah. The left hand drive, I forgot. America. You freaking weirdos. I don't understand how you can drive, how you can drive a car with left hand drive steering. In the UK and Ireland, it's right hand drive. That's the correct way, by the way. Yes, I am judging. Let me just pull up a little bit closer. Is that enough? Is that close enough? Oh, that that's plenty close. That is plenty close. Get up. Get, get, there we go. Boom. Yeah, that's an adequate amount. But now, how, how do I fill her up? How do I get gas in the beast? Okay, don't don't judge me. I fill my own car with petrol. I can do it, but game-wise, how do I do it? I, I don't know. Do I... Unless it's prepaid. Well, first, I want to take these, check these messages from Dad. Drive safe, Holly. Where do you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. <laughs> got stuck in a jam, you get it? Stuck, jam, guess the jam is sticky. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. Told you to take the flight. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. Alright, thanks for the confidence, Daddy O. Okay, put my phone away. Hey, how you doing, shop clerk? Thirty dollars of gas, please. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you playing solitaire? So do your damn job, you're playing solitaire, you cheap son of a bitch. How dare you, ma'am? Hi, can I get ten dollars on pump too? Thank you. Dot dot dot. You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of the year. Okay. Be careful. Okay, what do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Trees? I mean, Jesus, sorry. Uh, 
cool story, bro. Cool. I guess that's an urban legend, is it? Wait, are you actually following me? You're following me. Can your head do a 360 turn? No, I can't. That'd be weird. Okay, what about you, hombre? Um, you heard about the Nord Valley monster? Or how's your night going? He just looked at me. Okay. Uh, we hit. We hit the stranger. And he looked at me again. One last time. Let's, let's try the other option. You heard about the Norwood Valley monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley monster. You know anything? Big mistake. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let me guess. You're the Norwood Valley monster? Check the text. Holly? Mom? Alright. Fine. Oh, how did I do that? Oh, I can actually interact with this. Aha, non copyrighted food. Okay. Nice to see. Nah. Okay, going over the same dialogue again. Anything else can pick up? Here, shopkeep, I want this. I didn't need it. Okay. There you go. Ma'am, please stop. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I'm a rebellious one. Yeah. There will be consequences. Really? Okay, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll stop. I'll, I'll, I'll pick them up because I'm a jerk. Can I throw it at you, buddy? Oh, damn, I missed. Hey. Hold still. Hey. Hey. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, I think I got him in the ass, did I? Come on, throw it. Throw it. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing just walking around the shop, you weirdo? Boop. Oh, I can't. Okay, sorry, shopkeep. I am unable to do the most simplest of tasks. Oh, and one more thing. Don't come back. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Uh, why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road... Putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. So, would you say... They just ain't right? Is that right, boy? Wait. Can I pick up anything else here? Do I need toilet tissue? Here, I want these. I didn't need it. Oh, okay. Boop, there you go. There will be consequences. Oh, really? Oh, really now? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Right. There you go. I'll leave. Stop being a nuisance. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're near my car, and I don't like it. Oh, since my car is still running. It isn't all. Such an idiot. Okay, uh, what do you want? Holly, uh, I don't know if you'd find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Can't you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Oh, back into the shop we go. I'm probably banned from here now. They'll probably tell me to get out. Uh, 
Okay. Here you go, shopkeep. I want these. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Okay. Pay the clerk. Adios, compadre. I'm out of here. What is this, anyway? Pat Pat. For good boys and girls. Ah, oh, we all have a good boy, don't we? Somewhere. For me, I have a good girl. She's a cat. Into the boot. Ah, okay. Easy. No. All the way. Close enough. Mother of God. Okay. Other side. Without its arse sticking up in the air. That's, that's as good as I'll get it. Okay, time to take off. That weird white van, what was it doing parked up beside me? And why did it just take off so fast? I'm not sure why, but at first I went on without... Oh, wait, what, 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 what? You mean I didn't fill up with petrol? I thought it was just going to be an automatic thing. It maybe not. So I'll just reverse my ass all the way back. This could take a while. Wait, what? Excuse the living hell of me! I fell through the freaking map! How did, how did that even happen? Oh lord. I, 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 there's, there's no menu, there's, there's no menu, I have to... Oh, Jesus. Can I walk forward? No, I'm just stuck in the abyss. I mean, I guess it serves me right. I did throw those things at the clerk, after all. Okay, back to square one. Well, where the hell I left off last time. Filling my car. Hopefully, I won't be falling through the earth again anytime soon. I filled the tank and I was off to, I was off to road again. Don't you mean on the road again? Oh, I also have to get dog chow for my puppy. Here, give me this. There you go. Now I'm on the road. Now I'm ready to make tracks. But where does the hitchhiking begin? That is the question. No, no, no. There we go. And it's not poking out from the back. I'm a genius. Okay, turn on the motor. Okay, so we got to keep an eye out for a ghost. Being on the road, you do realize the thing. What thing is that? Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them just looks like you and me. Or looks just like you and me, sorry. Sorry, Mom, I'm driving. Takes me another time. Wait, what? What's that thing? Did that dude mess with my lights? The dude who who went into the van, at least I think a dude went into the van, or it could have been, could have been a regular person, or not a regular person, it could have, could have been a woman. You gonna help me out, bro? My car's about to break down. Ow, ow, ow! Jeez, would you get out of the road, you slow coach? Oh, 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 oh! No, wait. Now they're cooking with gas. Now they're the ones taking off. Come back here. I might need your help. And they are long gone. 
Jeez, no time. I was driving crazy fast. Them, no, took off like a whippet. Yikes! Don't hit a tree. What did he do? Now, where did the spooks begin? Like, will I actually see a ghost? That's the question. Well, if I do, I'm just going to plow right through it. And what about this bridge? Oh, here's the bridge. Any sign of a ghost? No. None that I can see, anyway. Let me guess, any minute now, my car is going to break down. Just you watch. Typical horror cliche. But where and when it'll break down, nobody knows. And that's probably when somebody will try and do the oogie boogie on me. Keyword, try. Whoa, whoa, Jesus, I can't see a thing, lads. Whoa, whoa. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I'm good. I'll admit, I was a terrible driver. What? We didn't hit anything, did we? I hope we didn't. Watch it, bunny boy. What, what kind of noise was that? There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road. Oh, ow. There goes my front bumper. Thought I could drive past the logs, but those wouldn't budge. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. Yeah, that does look deliberate. And this is going to be the point in time where somebody grabs me and does God knows what. Those were heavy. Excuse the living but Jesus out of me. Alright, there's definitely ghostly goings on here. That's a fact. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, it moved with me. Uh, okay, well, that explains it then. Hello? Okay, gotta pull this one back as well. But I gotta be quick about it. Okay, fine. Get in, get in, get in, get in and drive. Back to the car, back to the car. And typical. The car wouldn't start back up. Could be the battery. I mean, you did leave your headlights on after all, you idiot. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. So we can't text her mom, mom and your daddy? Oh no, no service. Get out. Right, so let's take a look underneath the bumper, or the, underneath the bumper, underneath the hood. Uh huh. Oh, it's just a bush. Wait, the bush is moving and how was the car? But at that moment, I had no, no choice for what. I, I, I missed the rest of that dialogue. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Hopefully not too long. Or we could go looking for somebody. Or maybe that's what, what they want us to do. 10.23 p.m. Still here. Uh-huh. That is a blown gasket right there if I ever did see one. Uh-huh. 
Oh, you saw a car coming. Hey, friendly! No! Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. I don't understand how you drove right through me. Maybe I'm the ghost. Maybe I crashed my car all the way back somewhere else and this is just my spirit. Along with the spirit of my now dead car. 10.43 p.m. Hmm, maybe you can start walking back to the gas station. Betty? You wanna help a brother out? <gasps> what the hell? What? 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 Dude fucking took me for a ride with him. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, it's you from the freaking gas station, you weirdo. What do you want? You're the girl from the gas station. Uh, thanks for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. And I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't suppose you could reverse back a little instead of having me haul ass up and down God knows how many times. How many things? Oh, I can carry two things at once. Nice. Okay, and... <gasps> Jesus Christ, I throw like a girl. Oops, sir, sexist statement. I'm sorry, I take that back. Girls can throw awfully good. This game is just a blatant uh, mis... mis uh, what's the term? Misrepresentation of a girl's true strength. Or a woman's true strength, I should say. Okay, what else? Skateboard, hat. No, I can only pick up two things at once. I only had two hands. Yeah, you only have two hands, but you can pick up multiple things at once. I mean, I have multiple things on my desk right here that I can pick up and t with two hands or even one hand. Look, example. PS5 controller. Xbox One controller. Phone. Three things at once. It is possible. Give me your BS of, oh, I can only count you things at once. No, you're just lazy. Okay, don't take off my shit, please. I need it. Whoa. Can I get in the back? No. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. Can you help me get my stuff? It's not safe to get out here. Okay, 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 fine, I'm done. Okay, I'm done, finally. Now hop in and be quick. Okay, dokie. So clearly the guys in the van screwed around with my car and knowing my luck, you're probably in on it, aren't you? Jeez, the frame rate is certainly dipping a small bit. It's like gone down to 25 frames a second. It's smooth in some areas, but not as smooth in others. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? Uh, I'll just say I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. Jason Voorhees, is that what you're saying? What? Oh, my name's Jason. It's not Jason Voorhees, no, definitely not. Uh, nice to meet you, Jason. So, is this it? Going to be driving in silence? Can I mess with your radio? Fiddle with the brake? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. 
I must say, you're one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery, or I don't know. It never broke down on me like that ever before. It's my dad's, it's pretty old. Do you know what happened? Are you a mechanic? Are you telling me you're in cahoots with that guy in the white van who fiddle faddled with whatever it was he fiddle faddled with? So what do you think about what he told you back at the shop or back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So, is it true? What? The monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are what? There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Good advice. Live and let live, that is my motto. So... You married? You got kids? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. You mean when you said, Big mistake. Yeah, I'm sure that's how you interact with most people, you damn pleb. Nice moon. 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by my motel. Or, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Right. Bye, Jason. Yeah, you have a nice night now. Oh, so you got a towing car as well, or a tow cab, whatever. Not approved for occupancy. What do you mean? Occupancy requirements before any person can use this building or any portion of this. Okay, it must be on time for the Ports Department. Wait, wait, wait. So is this place shut down? Is this place not supposed to be open? Okay, this doesn't bode well. Yeah, I've seen lots of horror movies um, based in motels or with the uh, motel as a backdrop. It never ends well. There's always something sinister going on. Like the clerk here could be in cahoots with Jason who could be in cahoots with the guy or the person who messed with my car, causing it to break down. I mean, for all I know, this could be a human trafficking ring. The man was put a, uh, putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. I mean, he does have a bit of an odd smile, but geez, who are you to judge? I mean, look, it looks fancy. I mean, look at this for class. Roadway in in metal signage. That is a very classy way to have a motel. I mean, at least it's not crawling with bugs or it's not rotting away. Who this? That looks like the girl from Les Miserables. Okay, but seriously, dude, give me give me a room, I wanna go to sleep. Yeah, I'll need a room to shack up for the night. Uh yes, how much is it for a room? Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Okay, here's your cash Ola. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay, there you go. That's me spun out of cash. Good, I'll let Tommy know. 
and one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests, they might not take very nicely to it. Why would I be making noise? Okay. Weird. So room number nine is right over there. Right over where there's lots of rooms. Are they numbered? That wait, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has gotta be it. Oh, good, I can count. Jeez, that's a Okay, Dad, I might have to stay by a motel tonight. Okay, that, that wasn't delivered. Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station, and you don't need to pay me for it. It's not expired or anything, right, Holly? Oh, yeah. No service, because I'm in the middle of butt-ass nowhere. It was nice and warm inside, except there is no bed. Or mattress, I should say. What the hell am I supposed to sleep on? The ground? Okay, you know what? I'm complaining to the manager. There's no mattress. This is an outrage. But, uh, but, but stop, 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 stop. I thought he almost got stuck again. Or I thought it was going to fall through the map. Listen to those hurried steps. These are the steps of a Karen. Because you know when you hear those little uh, pity patty footsteps, you're in to get the business. Hey, jerk, where's my mattress? Right over there, room number nine, it is. That's not what I asked. Can I, can I come in and teach him a lesson? No, 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 I can't rough him up. Close that door. Guess he doesn't give a shit about my complaints. Oh, crap, and I left my door open. Whoopsie doodles, wanna bet that half my stuff is gone now? Wait, I didn't even bring over my stuff. It's still by the door, I, I think, I, I hope, unless somebody made off with it. Ah, yes, everything's there. My bags, my dog food, and my hat, and my skateboard. I, I, I can't pick them up, I... I Somebody bring them over for me? Am I that lazy and entitled? Probably. Alright, let's just scope out the room first. Okay, we got pills. I didn't need it. Why would there be pills here? Oh! Is this super? Or is this copyrighted content? <gasps> Paramount presents a Max Fisher cartoon, Superman in Technicolor. It is, and I should probably turn it off just in case I get struck. The, the mechanical monsters. Well, good to know. I wonder is if is it a full episode of Superman? Because that would actually be cool. <laughs> Ooh, blind's dead. Can I not turn that off? Oh, thank God. Wait. Can I change channels? Oh, it loops. Oh. Okay. That's kind of cool. And that is actually a big-ass TV for such a small room. Alright, so we got a sink out here, which is kind of odd. Got a wardrobe. Mm -hmm, gotta have that. And a bathroom. Jesus, mother of God. What are you doing here? Hey, buddy, I should be asking you that. What are you doing in my room? Why are you wearing such a creepy ass smiley face? I mean, you got those damn fucking pervert eyes. You scared the crap out of me, alright? Yeah, I should be asking you. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn. 
finest up over in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Got the front desk giving this room. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Okay. Please wait outside, I said. Go get your stuff. Jesus, you mighty ass, happy ass bastard, you. I'm trying to scare the living crap out of me. Like, who cleans rooms at this time of night? That stuff should be done during the day. Well, unless the room is occupied. So, I'm not getting help bringing myself over. Good to know. Can I complain to the manager again? Hey, buddy, there's a creep in my room. He a friend of yours? Seth is right outside. He does not give a shit about me or my well-being, apparently. Yes, he only had two hands. Wait. Had two hands. Past tense. Meaning he no longer has two hands, or she no longer has two hands. Uh oh. Take those. So what? Does something happen to my hands in the past? Did they get chopped off? Do I lose them? Do I lose one of them? Both of them? Who knows? Or I could just be over exaggerating here. Only had two hands. Yes, I I get it. You only had two hands. Okay, but you can pick up more than two things at once. At least according to um, science and my own proof of evidence or my own, own evidence. Okay, got you nice and trapped there. You're not going anywhere. Okay, so we're one scared in and Okay, my dog food is possessed apparently. Here you go, Tommy boy. Is that part of you? Good. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with your pe what is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. What's wrong with you? Have you not seen the look on your own face? Go over to that mirror there and, and, and tell me it ain't creepy. But don't you worry. You're safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get a fix, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> But you have a good night. Okay, creepo. Hey, hey. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me, boy? Boy, I said, boy, where are you taking me? Okay, I guess we're going for a ride. Let's see where he goes. If he goes anywhere at all. Still wearing that fugly, ha happy ass, smiley face. Watch this now, I'm going to get shoved outside of the map and get my ass kicked into the shadow realm. Oh! And there he goes. That was quick. The fastest car I ever did see take off in my entire life. Or the fastest take off of a car I've ever seen. Jesus, mercy, mercy. Right, time for bed, is it? Or do I have to make sure he didn't do anything weird in here? Oh, no, 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 everything looks normal. As normal as normal can be, we have a vent. It's probably got a hidden camera shoved around here somewhere. Okay, I guess it's time for ready buys, is it? Yes, yeah, time for bed. Or is it? Hey! What are you doing? Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Get up. Foresight, you just saw someone peep in the window.
and he took off apparently okay I, I heard a door close somewhere can I go and investigate I couldn't just go into any room oh no but apparently people can just go into my room willy nilly and spy on me now that's perfectly fine but was there somebody in here no no Okay. I'm actually going to leave the bathroom open. Okay. Can I turn off lights to save a bit of energy? Nope. Okay. Back to bed it is. I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Oh. Okay. Where do we find the coffee? It's like a coffee machine somewhere. Wait, what, what's this? Do one of these machines have coffee? Okay, we got cola, we got chocolate, we got soda, we got meat snack, nuts, chocolate, refreshing soda, bubbles drink can, carrot drink, ugh, orange drink can, milk chocolate. Okay, we're back to the chocolates again. Coolers. I didn't want it. Then where's the coffee machine? Is there a coffee machine in here? Right over there. Room number nine. Oh, yeah. I freaking get it, alright. I'm looking for some damn coffee. Won't be any coffee hidden beyond here, would there? No. Doesn't look like it. Hello? Okay, I can't go. Oh, premium coffee, hot drinks. Okay, so we got espresso for free. We got a cappuccino for free. French vanilla, not available for some reason. Hot chocolate with milk. Cafe mocha. Oh, I love a mocha. I could go for a mocha right now. You know what? Cappuccino it is. Consume. Okay. Wait, what? Did my game just break? What's going on? Wait, what? 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 Whoa. Okay, my controls are ass backwards. I think I've been freaking drugged how could that happen did somebody fiddle with the coffee machine and put drugs in it okay so just, wait whoa whoa okay so left is right right is left everything is inverted so going left is going right going forward is going back Oh, this is going to take ages to do. Okay, just got to go in a straight line. Where do I go? Go to the freaking hotel manager? Tell him what happened? Maybe he can help me out? Unless, of course, he's in on this. Hey, I don't feel right. And he's... He's not even here. Where is he? The one person I thought could help me is... Is fucked off. Oh, he's definitely in on this. Oh, he is a, he's in on this big time. Oh my god. You're moving slower than molasses. Whatever molasses is when molasses is at home. And I got a text from daddy -o. And I can't read it because my eyesight is fucked. Oh, 
Oh god. Come on, you can make it. You're almost in there. Close the door. Okay, turn it into bed. Turn it into bed. Turn it to sleep this roofie off. Jesus, mother of God, what type of people am I dealing with in this game? 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. I think somebody might have taken my liver. Am I going to wake up with surgery tools around my bed? Space to get off. Wait, I'm going to ignore that because I heard somebody in here. Is there somebody? <laughs> Okay, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh, I did not just answer the damn phone. All right, I'm gonna try that again. Hopefully, there's a save point in this. Maybe. Oh, I was a saved game. Yes, thank God. I'm guessing there wasn't enough to save in the last one because it's so short. Oh, Jesus, that really got me. You know what? I just noticed that this cap says Emily is away. Emily is away. I believe that is another game on Steam. Is it made by the same developer? Just something I gotta check out. No, doesn't look like it. It must just be an Easter egg, that's all. Okay, there's a knocking on my door. Even though I want to know about the wardrobe anyway. <laughs> just, with, just, just shits and giggles. Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. Okay, it sounds legit. <gasps> oh, thank God, it's you, Joe. There's a creeper guy in here. <laughs> I don't know who's going to be safe. <laughs> I don't know who's going to be safe with Joe. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I hear you in there, buddy boy. I ain't stupid. Yeah, I gotta turn off that copyright crap. Oh, and I'm gonna go to bed again. Am I? Evidently not. Did I break the game? Did I complete certain tasks too quickly? What am I supposed to do? I don't need it. Okay, if you say so. Do I need to go pee pee? <gasps> oh, it's Joe. Yeah, might as well open the door. Hey, Joe, buddy, how you doing? Didn't I respectfully tell you to not wake anyone up? Suppose you did. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that? Why are your eyes all red? Mentioned being drugged. Did I do that? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay. Here, I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Okay, come on. I'll show you where it was. Exactly, exactly where it was. It was over here. If you don't believe me. Come on, Joe the Schmo. Joe the Schmo. Joe the Schmuck. It was right over here. It was... It was right over here. Whoops, hit my mic. Sorry, Mike. 
a pink end is now knocked over. This car boot is open. Oh. Go back to the room. I swear to God, I was right here. I said go back now. But I swear. Do you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But there was a coffee machine here and this guy's boot is open. Maybe... It's probably small enough to fit in here and he's hiding it in his room now? Is he hiding it in his car, maybe? In the back passenger seat? Ah, oh, now I'm the bad guy. Room number nine. Oh. Oh, he must have left. Okay, these are the pills I need to take, I think. Requires water. Go to the sink for that. Gurgle, gurgle, What sort of hotel room keeps pills there? Or what sort of motel keeps pills in a room? <gasps> Close up to the door. So, is it nap time again? No. Wait, what do I have to do? If it's not nap time, what do I have to do? I didn't need it. Okay. Don't feel safe. Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw that. What the hell are you whispering about? Oh, I see you, buddy. Guess we gotta do what we did in the last game. Hide in here. Wait. Is this picking up my microphone? Oh, it is. That's so cool. Okay, I don't want to do the crotch technique anymore. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. No, I ain't, I ain't opened the door for nobody. Okay, please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Why would I be worried about you being a cop? Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, this, this is where we hide. And this is where we be quiet. Ass, by the way. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> oh, I knew it. Oh! He got clobbered. I thought, to this day, I find it really weird that 
The manager inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the new car after what felt like a year. So they weren't in cahoots? They weren't working together? That weirdo and the hotel manager? I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Even if they were more expensive. Good idea. And there's my car being towed. Achievement Survivor. The same achievement as I got in the first game. Music on radio. Ren Downfelt. Neb Flyway and Neb whatever the hell that was. Top to Nations. Spectrum Smoke. Zem Multiverse. A Filthy Leaf. Ricochet and Shiver. Special thanks. Kane2361. Delica. Best Leo. Jello. Spectrum Smoke and I didn't catch the last name. A game by Rail. Whoever Rail is when Rail is on, but it is a decent game for what it is. Got me good twice. Thoughts and opinions on this uh, episode. Well, it was very well grounded. Um, very good storyline. I mean, if it did happen. But here's the thing. Here's the rub. We don't know if it happened. I mean... It could be a fake encounter, but it, things like this happen almost every day in America. So, it could very well be based on someone's own experience, or their friend's experience, or their cousin's, something like that. But either way, this does happen in America. Kidnappings happen all the, all the time. Well, maybe not all the time, but they have happened in the past, but... Statistically speaking, I think I think they've gone down. But point being, point being, point being, regardless, it's all based on what ifs or things that may or may not have happened. If that makes sense. But yeah, the jump scares got me got me good, and I do like that there is multiple endings. Although one of them isn't canon, and that's where you end up getting caught or getting killed, whatever. Because the main thing is it's written from the survivor's perspective and of course the survivor survived so you have to get to the end you have to make uh, the right decisions you have to know when not to make the wrong choices even if they aren't that obvious I mean the first time when I got caught that was me being an idiot I knew well there was somebody in the closet but I just wanted to see what would happen would it be the same type of jump scare as the first game and it was which kind of diminished it a small bit but it still got me nonetheless. It still got me. I won't deny it. Got me twice, in fact. But that being said, guys, you can get this game on Steam right now. I bought it there for about two euro forty something, two euro forty nine. I mean, with a two euro jump scare or a two euro forty nine jump scare, and a two euro story. I mean, it is. It is what it is. It, it is um an all right game for uh for that amount and it's VHS based I mean these games are making a bit of a comeback or I won't say they're making a bit of a comeback but they are becoming a bit of a new phenomenon on Steam they're very unique in that sense where you have this VHS filter over it not a lot of games done that way back when when indie games were just in their infancy so it is kind of good to see a new spin on the indie horror genre and I can't wait to see where it goes, can't wait for this to become mainstream and maybe some AAA games. I don't think there are any AAA games that have VHS effects. In fact, I think there's a lot more games out there that do have this sort of VHS overlay, this VHS style, this distortion and, and whatnot. It is, it's pretty unique. Love it. Anyway, guys, enough rambling. You know what to do if you did enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Comment, favorite, share, and of course, like always, I will see you guys in the next one. So until next time, see ya.